What I love most about missions is I've always had a love just for people in general, for cultures around the world, and I just love the diversity that God's created in people. It's exciting to know that I'm helping being part of setting people free. People are in captive all around the world, and when we go to Nicaragua, for example, um, just leading people to Christ and knowing that uh, they're set free from their sin of bondage, their, their bondage of sin, they're being set free um, to be with Jesus. And so that, I think for me, that's the number one thing that really gets me excited. And plus, when they accept it, there's not a greater feeling than leading someone to Christ. It's amazing. They are so hungry to receive Jesus and to receive His good news. And my hope is that when I reach cultures that have some truth, that they can get, receive the whole truth. Um, and the Holy Spirit allows that to happen. The Holy Spirit opens up and people's eyes to, to the whole truth. And people get saved left and right. Classrooms get saved. The whole, the whole classrooms you'll see of people raising their hand getting saved, teachers getting saved. God has already placed seeds in all the cultures all around the world. And all we have to do is go and water those seeds. I think we're all called yes. by God to go out and spread the good news. You know, you can do that in your neighborhood and you can do that in your workplace. And those are all definitely mission fields. But I believe that we're all called to go to the ends of the earth. One of the aspects of stepping outside of your comfort zone and going to a place that you might be a little afraid of or you think is dangerous or you don't know what to expect, it allows you to, um, to experience God in a way that you've never experienced Him before because you're dependent on Him and you're naturally more inclined to depend on Him more. And when you do, you're going to experience His presence in a way that you've never experienced before. This happened to me um, when we were in Nicaragua in 2014. I was approached by Ronnie Hill who's the lead evangelist on the trip, um, to speak at a women's conference, to be the keynote speaker, which means I'm delivering you know, the, the main message. And I experienced God. I didn't just talk about God. I didn't just uh, tell people about God and Jesus. I actually experienced His presence in my life that day. And those are the kinds of experiences that you can expect to have when you go on a mission trip and you step outside your comfort zone and you push yourself and you allow God to work in you in ways that only He can do. Everybody that supports us in whatever way they want, they're a part of what's going on. It's so exciting to know that they're being part of what's what, all the salvations, thousands of salvations in you know, a week's time that we're there, they're a part of that. The seeds of truth are planted around the world. And um, our commission is to lead people to the rest of that truth.